the rest of the story. Arnold Bachlin's painting, The Isle of the Dead, has inspired artists and authors and composers for more than a hundred years. You know, it depicts that tall white spirit in a rowboat being taken across a placid lake by the ferryman Sharon and his prince. The, the lake appears to be almost black and the destination is an island of towering cliffs and trees and there are suggestions of indescribable inhabitation. It's the painting's terrifying serenity which has so moved creative minds. A dream picture, Bachlin called it. But once upon a time, there was an Isle of the Dead. It was a real one called Hart, H-A-R-T, Hart Island. And this is the rest of the story. A plague had swept across the land. In its wake, it had left countless dead. What was left of society would not bury the victims in respectable graveyards, so they were taken by ferry to Hart Island. The only life on that island of the dead was made up of prisoners who lived there, 20 or so, serving their sentences in a perpetual burial detail. Each morning at dawn, the ferry boat would glide silently to the dock, bearing 20 or 30 or more rough pine coffins. Most mornings, even when the icy wind was not knifing across the sound, the prisoners would shiver unloading that cargo. And back on the mainland, the plague kept killing relentlessly, and so to the authorities, fearing the day that Hart Island would overflow, they ordered the graves to be dug 12 feet deep and the coffins to be stacked. The coffins of children and babies could therefore be interred twelve at a time. Oh yes, the children. They were buried for some reason on the other side of the island in the shadow of a gray stone cross. The prisoners themselves sagged beneath the emotional burden of their endless chore and of simply living here, if one could call it that, in a land of forgotten lives and unmarked graves. I'm going to stop right here. The history of Hart Island is fascinating and it's varied. Over the years, Hart Island has been a prison camp for Confederate soldiers. It was once a charity hospital for women. It was once an insane asylum. It was a reformatory. It was a military disciplinary camp during the Second World War. It has been an old men's home and a drug treatment center. It has even been a missile base. But to that remarkable list, you may now add this, that once upon a time, Hart Island was an Isle of the Dead, a place where plague victims were laid to rest. And the plague, it is a plague that kills even now, comprised of drug overdoses, infantile AIDS, and plain abandonment. The diseases of which everyone speaks, and yet which no one can entirely prevent. And so until the wonderful day of that wonderful cure, there will always be a need for Heart Island. For its function as an Isle of the Dead is here and now, right now, in Long Island Sound, just a half mile from the generator of the dead, New York City. And now you know the rest of the story.